Hi friends, I'm teacher Erin and I'm so excited to see you today. Now, go ahead and put your hands on the wheel with me, start your engines and let's get ready for our wiggle stance. <laughs> I'll race you to the finish line. I'll race you to the finish line. Step right up, come on, it's time. On your mark, get set, and go! Punch the gas and drive. Punch the gas and drive. Spread your wings and fly. Spread your wings and fly. Float across the sky. Float across the sky. Ski down a mountain high. Great job dancing, friends. Now, I need your help to find our main point for this week. Come along with me. Okay, now this week's main point is going to be on the red racing flag. Is this the red racing flag? No, I don't think so. Is this the red racing flag? No, this one's yellow. Let's keep looking. Is this one the red racing flag? Yes, it is. And it has our main point on the back. And this week's main point is, I will tell the truth. So when we do our main point and we say, I, you're going to point to yourself and say, I will tell. We are going to put our hands around our mouth like this and say, will tell. And for the truth, you're going to put your hand in the air for truth. So let's do it all together on the count of three. One, two, three. I will tell the truth. Good job, friends. Now to learn more about our main point for today, we are going to go see Guy Handsome Racing Team and Olivia Gears and find out what they're up to. Whoa, look at all these things. They're awesome. Yes, Kimmy, they are quite a sight. It's great to be here in the land of uh, pointy things. <laughs> I don't think we're in the land of pointy things, Guy. We're surrounded by pyramids here in the desert near Cairo, a city in the country of Egypt. Today, we'll be having an off-road racer race. This week, we'll need huge tires on the Anything Mobile so we can drive on all that sand. Yes, Egypt, I knew it all along. I'm gonna go see if I can figure out the course for the race today. Maybe I'll even see a penguin. I don't think penguins live in Egypt, Guy. Don't they like where it's cold? Don't be silly, Kimmy. Penguins love sand. So, we're going to need an off-road racer with huge tires? Yes, we will. I need you to start working on the Anything Mobile. It needs those really big tires over there. Now, it needs all four tires if we want Guy to win. Kids. Will you help Kimmy remember to put the four really big tires on the Anything Mobile? Yes! Great! I'm going to get the last minute things we need for the race. I'll be back. Bye! Okay, so four really big tires. Where were they? Over here? Uh, uh, no. Aha! Here they are over here! Wow! Those are pretty big. And they look, they look pretty heavy. I can't... That almost got me. <gasps> oh no! I only have one, two, three tires left. How many tires was I supposed to have? Kids, how many tires did Olivia tell me to put on the Anything Mobile? Four! Four? But I only have three! Oh, what am I gonna do? Oh, oh, I gonna have... Oh, I got it! Hi, Kim. 
Emmy, how's it going? Well, not so good, but I have a plan. What do you mean? Well, I accidentally lost one of the tires for the anything mobile, but don't worry, I thought of a plan. Oh no, what's your plan? Well, we only put three tires on the anything mobile, but we tell Guy there's four tires on it. Wait, so you want us to lie? Well, yeah, it's no big deal. We'll just lie to him and tell him there are four tires. I mean, no one will notice the one tire missing in the back. And this way, I won't get in trouble for losing the tire and Guy won't be mad at me. No, 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 Kimmy. Lying is wrong. It can cause a lot of problems. Bigger problems than the one we have right now. Lying about a missing tire can also cause a lot of damage. Listen to this Bible story to help you understand. This Bible story begins with a father, Isaac, and his two sons, Jacob and Esau. Now Isaac was really old and he couldn't see very well anymore. He knew it was time to pass on all his responsibilities and give a very important blessing to his firstborn son, Esau. But Jacob wanted to have the blessing from his father. One day, when Esau was out hunting, Jacob put on Esau's clothes and put fur on his arms to trick Isaac into thinking he was Esau. Then his mom cooked Isaac's favorite meal and Jacob brought it to Isaac. When Isaac heard Jacob in the room, he asked, who are you? Then Jacob responded, it's Esau, your firstborn son. Jacob lied to his father. Then Jacob gave Isaac the meal and Isaac asked again, are you really my son Esau? Jacob lied again to his father and said, yes, I am. Isaac believed Jacob's lie and he ate the meal Jacob gave him. Then Isaac gave Jacob his blessing, the blessing that was supposed to be given to Esau. When a father gives his son a blessing, it is very important. Soon, Esau returned from hunting and found out that Jacob had lied to Isaac. Now, Esau was really mad. Esau knew that he was supposed to receive this blessing. Esau was so mad that he wanted to kill Jacob. Jacob then had to leave his family's house to get away from Esau. Jacob's lies tore his family apart and hurt his brother Esau. If we lie about the tires and Guy tries to race, he could wreck and get hurt. Oh, I, I didn't know lying could be so hurtful. Yes, it can. So instead of lying, we should always tell the truth. Yes, I understand now that I should tell the truth and not lie. Exactly. When he comes back, we'll tell him that we lost the tire, but we have a plan. We do? Yes. We'll go look for the tire and have the Anything Mobile ready before the race. In fact, while you're telling the truth, I'll go look for it. That sounds like a good plan. So, Kimmy, is the Anything Mobile ready for me to race in and win? Well, it's not ready yet. You see, I lost one of the tires, and so now we only have three. Only three? <gasps> yes, but Olivia's already out looking for the lost tire, and I'm going to help her. So hopefully, we'll finish the Anything Mobile before the race starts. I see. Well, thank you for letting me know of this, because we will find that tire, because I, Guy Handsome, will win this race with four tires. I found it! It rolled pretty far away, but I was able to see it and bring it back here. Right! Just in time for the race! Let's hurry and put all these tires on. All right! Later! Wow! It looks great! It sure does! Now, let's go win this race. Good luck! There he goes! Wow, those tires work really well for driving on sand. Oh, look! He's going around one of the pyramids! And he's in the lead! He's almost to the finish line! All he has to do is pass by one more pyramid and... Yay! He did it! He won! Yeah! Great job! Whew.
those tires really came in handy for driving all over that sand. I'm glad I told you the truth instead of lying to you. If I'd only put three tires on the anything mobile, bad things could have happened. Yes, Kimmy, it's true. Telling the truth is always the best thing to do. I'm glad you decided to tell the truth, too. Now let's go check out the pyramid. Yeah, let's go. What a great story. Jacob was wrong, and he decided not to tell the truth to his father, which is something that we shouldn't do. We should always tell the truth, which is what our main point for today is. Let's say it together on the count of three. One, two, three. I will tell the truth. Now, I want you guys to imagine a little something with me. Let's say you're taking a nap one day, but you're not tired. So you decide to get out of bed and play with your toys instead. But then you hear your mom coming. So you put down your toys and run and get back in bed. And when your mom comes to your room, she asks you, did you get out of bed? At first you want to say no, but then that would be lying. So you decide to tell her the truth and say, yes, mom, I did get out of bed. Now you have learned our main point today, which is I will tell the truth. But that's not all for today. We also have a Bible verse that talks about telling the truth as well. And it's found in Galatians 6, 9. It says, never get tired of telling the truth. Now, friends, I'm so glad we learned this Bible verse. And it's something that we should practice every single day. And before we leave, let's do our main point one more time. On the count of three. One, two, three. I will tell the truth. Good job, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you next week. Bye.